Brew, 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 brewnomics. Welcome back to the next match. This time we have the Iron Horse Double Rainbow versus the Lush IPA. Ah, oh, shit. Can't be in this one. Double Rainbow's my personal favorite beer. There's too much bias. Oh. Tag out. Whoa. That was weird. Okay, so I'm um, tagging in for Jerry. Uh, this is the Double Rainbow. It is part of the wild card division in our Hops Conference. While we have the Lush on the other side sitting in the IPA division. So let's go over some stats that we have for the Double Rainbow from Iron Horse. It is from Ellensburg, Washington, sitting at 7% alcohol by volume and 70 IBUs. So this is number 12 in our seating. And it has an average rating on untapped of 3.69. It's a good rating. It's a good rating. It's a special one. Mm -hmm. Up and down. And Lush IPA is from Seattle, Washington. It is a 7% ABV and 80 IBU. It is our number 5 seating against our number 12. And it has an average rating of 3.95 on untapped. Wow. wow. Jinx. 10. Now you can't talk the entire time, Vic. I said his name. He can talk now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. But All I right. say this, uh, this start Rainy's beer, huh? Let's do Should it, man. Double rainbow. Let's get to the double R, yeah? Mmm. Funny enough, actually, I think, I believe this was our, uh, our winner, winner last, last year. The yeah. double rainbow. Yeah, so yeah. If you guys haven't seen that, please go back and look for it. I'm sure it's on the internet somewhere next to news of me and Vic. <laughs> also true. Yeah. Tell us what you think. Give us a rating. Yeah. Ugh, like, share, so and subscribe. Oh, you're talking to me. So good. This is such a great fucking beer. I agree. I totally understand why this was our winner last season. It's a beautiful one. Very hoppy. Very aromatic. Oh, tasty. Let's, let's give the Lush a try. Also, great name for a beer. Ooh, such a Lush. Such a Lush. Very aromatic, very fruity, very citrusy. Way more bitter. Agreed. Hmm. Than a double rainbow. Because this, in my opinion, and when I, when I like to rate drinks as well, how smooth it is. Yeah. All day. Mm -hmm. All day. What were the IBUs for our uh, Lush again? It is 80 to the 70 oh, of a double rainbow. Those 10 bitterness units do make sense. Price-wise, what do we got here? Um, double rainbow. Probably uh, it's usually eight ninety-nine a six-pack. Okay, so probably about a two on the price point. Lush was um, about nine ninety-nine. So about very similar price-wise. So about a two on our one to three scale of dollars. Um, hmm. What do you think there? I would like to judge it now. Let's do it. Should we do on the three, two, one? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Then push the beer. Push the beer towards the camera. Towards the camera. The one that you want to win. Okay. Three, two, one. Double rainbow. Double rainbow. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's overall, it's hands down, just the far more superior beer. It is really. It's tasty. I could drink it all day. Price wise, it's solid. Um, I appreciate its availability. It's available at least most of the year, like nine months out of the year, if I'm not mistaken. I could be. So go ahead and have somebody correct me on that one. Um, and just a beer that I think almost anyone can enjoy. Yeah, this will get people who are not into craft beer drinking into craft beer drinking. So for those of you who stick to Miller, Coors, Bud Light, Bud Weiser, Stone, give that double rainbow a shot. Stone. It'll, it'll yeah. change your mind. It's a special beer. Drink good beer. Says Brunomics. Good job, double rainbow. All right. Next. 